Good morning. How y'all doing? Man, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I know I am. Man, yesterday I was walking through the house and I came across uh, this dude right here, man. You know, you guys probably know who this is, right? Well, he's a transformer. He's uh, what they call him, ultimate, wait, Optimus. Yeah, Optimus. I was saying ultimate. Optimus Prime. You know, this is one of the little transformer toys that, man, my little grandson plays with. He likes this little dude, man. And I started trying to play with him, trying to figure him out how to make him into that, you know, that truck. But I couldn't figure it out, man. Brother but Marty! <laughs> <laughs> What's Ooh, up, boys and like... girls? Mom and dad. <laughs> Brother, man, hang on. Give me a second, because I was just all talking to the kids and right. stuff, and then I hear, Brother Marty! You know, oh, man. Come what on. a sweet sound to your ears. <laughs> hey, I, how you doing today, man? I am good. How are you? I, I, I heard you talking about uh, a transform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was walking through the house yesterday, man, and I found this transform. You yep. know what I'm saying? Uh, yep. uh, ultimate. Uh, no, 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 no. Optimus Prime. Yeah. Come on, Brother Marty, get it right. That's what I said. Ultimate Prime. Uh, Optimus Prime. <laughs> Optimus Prime, that's right. So Optimus Prime, uh, you know, one of my little grandsons, you know, he likes playing with it. You know, Beckett. You know, Beckett? Yeah. Hey, Beckett, you watching? Good morning, hey, Beckett. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, so check it out. He likes playing with this kind of stuff. And I was like, man, I was trying to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. But then I started thinking, man, Jesus is the real transformer. Transformer. I'm telling you right now, Jesus transforms lives. He transformed my life. He transforms hundreds and probably yep. millions of people's lives. You know what I mean? Hey, you know what? Check this out. This morning I was eating cocoa pebbles. Yeah. And guess what happened? What's that? It transformed the milk into chocolate milk. Stop it. I'm telling you. Stop just it. Just like that. Bam. That, bro, you preaching my message today, boy. Oh, come on. Look at you, man. Stealing my thunder, man. Stealing my thunder. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, man, hey, that's right, though, absolutely. And I like me some Cocoa Pebbles, man. Me too. I like me some Delicious. Cocoa Pebbles, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Flintstone. but speaking of Transformer. Oh, yeah, what? You know, you were talking about, you know, Optimus Prime and Jesus. You know who else is a Transformer? Who, who's that? Uh, your boy Sid. Oh, stop it. Yep, I am a Transformer. I transform lives all over the world. <laughs> Everywhere I go, lives are changed and transformed. I, I, I believe I'm it. telling you. I change believe, and transform. I, I believe, In fact, Brother Marty, I am about to change and transform the lives of all of the boys and girls that come to KJ. Really? Yep. To this today. I'm telling. Well, yeah, well, check this out. So oh. you know how boys and girls, moms and dads, you've been hearing moms and dads talking about the stimulus check. Right? They've oh. been talking about the stimulus money right, uh, right. coming in and everything. Well, Brother Marty, let me ask you a question. What's that? What about the boys and girls? What? Where is their stimulus check? Where is their stimulus cash? Huh? The boys and girls have been stuck at home. They cannot come to K-Jam, and they are not getting any jam bucks. You got, yeah. So you know what Sid yeah. is going to do? You got, but. Check it out, boys and girls. Here is what Sid is going to do for you. When you guys are able to come back to K-Jam, when you get back, however many weeks that we have not met here at K-Jam, Sid is going to give you... That amount of K jam jam bucks when what? you get back. Bam! What? Stimulus for the boys and girls, Bella Marty. What? Transforming lives right here. What? Are right you, here. What, what, are you, 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 right here. <laughs> okay. Transforming lives. So you, you're talking about when when we can have church, you know, back in the church house, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, like 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 in the in the building and everything. Yeah. When the kids come back, if they've been out of church like yeah. Yep. I'm not finished talking. So, you already know what I'm going to say? Yep and yep. <laughs> so, what, what I was saying, so, like, if they've been out, like, if we had not had church for six weeks, right. they're going to get six times the jam bucks? Yes. However many weeks that they are out, when they get back, the jam bucks are going to rain, Brother Marty. What? In fact, it's going to be like this. Check this out. Hey, when the, when the boys and girls get back, Brother Marty, it's going to be like this. Oh, hey, hang on a second. Whoa, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Don't, oh, Lee, man, look at all the, hang on, hang on a second. Jam bucks everywhere, Brother Marty. <laughs> Buddy, I'm telling you, are you got, I bet you right now if we can see the boys and girls in the living rooms, they oh, are they're popping. they excited. They freaking out. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet you they more excited than their mom and daddy when their mom and daddy got the stimulus check. You know what I'm saying? Jam right? bucks gonna rain. <laughs> 
Man, you will transform some boys and girls' lives. I'm telling you right now. So if they've been out five weeks, they get five times, six times, six times. Yep. Man, I know you guys are pumped up. Y'all excited about that. That's what I do. I change lives, Brother Marty. Transform. <laughs> okay. Well, look, man, it's, it's, listen, this has been fun. And, and, uh, Optimus Sid. Uh, what? Optimus Sid. <laughs> Optimus. Optimus Sid. Optimus Prime ain't got oh, nothing on me, bro. But, hey, you know what would be cool? What? If they had a, a, a Transformer Sid. Yep. Right? So you would be Sid and then you would transform into something else. What would that be? What else do I need to transform into, Brother Marty? You cannot get any better than this right here. What would you want me to transform into? Ain't nothing else, bro. Okay, listen. With that, with that, it's time to transition. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I like what you did. That's me fire. That's a psych note. <laughs> it's, time, it's time to transform this service into a praise and worship, oh, praise and worship service time. instead of, you know, the Sid service. You know I what I'm saying? Excited. Making it hey, well, look, rain let me get and transform your lives. Bye, moms and girls. Bye, moms and dads. Ah! Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. My bad. <laughs> Bye, moms and girls. Bye, Sid. Ah! Oh, I'm stuck again. Ah! Hey, listen, I'll be right back, man. But, hey, jump up to your feet, man. Put the cereal down. Put the pop tarts down. It's time to praise and worship. Miss Megan, Mr. Moray, come on, man. What y'all doing? It's time for praise and worship. Them kids are waiting. Come on, where y'all at? Here they come. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All the static, all the noise. Can't compete with your beat. Tuning in to your voice. Shout it out, tell the world I found a meaning Can't be quiet anymore, you're the song I'm singing Can you hear, can you hear it? Through a million voices You're the sound all around, love is big, love is loud like Feel your heart, feel your heart goes on and on Play my song, to turn it up, can't get enough of your love Can't get enough of
Hey, boys and girls, I'm back, man. Hey, I hope you guys were in the living room jumping and shouting and praising the Lord. I love praise and worship, man. Sometimes I'm telling you, even when I'm cutting grass and I don't even have no praise and worship, I just be singing and everything. I got to be careful, though, you know what I'm saying? Because then I... Anyway, anyway, hey, listen, check this out. I got a cool scripture for you guys, man. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, verse 17. That's right, verse 7. Oh, I said that already. Chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come, right? See, that made me start thinking, man, kind of like Sid was talking about this morning. He was talking about how he ate, you know, cocoa pebbles. You see what I'm saying? I like me some cocoa pebbles. Matter of fact, I have a box. That's right. I said a box of cocoa pebbles because Sid done helped himself to my cocoa pebbles. So don't be looking to win this box of cocoa pebbles because it's empty. You see what I'm saying? Sid done got to my cocoa pebbles. But anyway, back to the cocoa pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles, you know what I'm saying, and Jesus, what do they have in common? You see what I'm saying? What do Cocoa Pebbles and Sid, no, I didn't, I, said, I did say Sid, I meant Jesus. See what Sid is doing to me? You see what Sid is doing to me? What does Cocoa Pebbles and Jesus have in common? They both transform. I know Sid trying to transform your lives and everything. Anyway, back to the subject, man. Listen, whenever you pour Cocoa Pebbles in your bowl of milk, right? Or you pour your, your milk into your bowl of Cocoa Pebbles. Some people do it different. It don't matter how you do it. Listen, here's the thing. When you pour the milk into your bowl of Cocoa Pebbles, immediately it starts a transformation. You see what I'm saying, right? You guys that ever eaten uh, uh, Cocoa Pebbles, you know what I'm talking about. Man, you start eating your Cocoa Pebbles, it's good, right? And then at the end, toward the end, you start getting a little, little bit different flavor in the milk, right? It starts turning to chocolatey, surprise, chocolatey milk, right? I used to love that as a kid. I even like it as an adult, man. After I finish eating my cereal, I take the bowl and I just kind of drink the milk out the bowl. You, you know what? If you guys do that, raise your hand. Raise your hand. All right. Okay. All right. So, hey, I love it, man. Some chocolate milk. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, when I was a kid, man, I used to say, hey, mama, I want Cocoa Pebbles. You know, because one, I want a chocolate milk after my cereal. You know, and my mama didn't want to buy some chocolate milk. So I said, I don't know how to get me some chocolate milk. I'm smart, huh? I'm smart. Anyway, back to the subject. Well, I'm getting sidetracked a lot today. Hey, check this out. Jesus transforms our lives. Matter of fact, I have a story for you today. The story is about a man that was born blind. That's right. He was born blind in the book of John chapter 9, verse 1 through 44 is where we read the whole story. He was born blind, but Jesus transformed his life. Okay, so watch this. I have a video for you. Watch this video and just stay tuned because I'll be right back after to finish talking to you and then we're going to pray, okay? Check this out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey everyone! One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples and he saw a man who was born blind. Hey, Jesus! His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. The man's neighbors and others who knew him as a blind man wondered if this was the same man. Is that the same guy? No way. They said, no, he just looks like him. It's right. No, damn it. But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me. So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? 
and the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. The people asked, where is Jesus now? But the man didn't know. So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? And he answered them, I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, mm, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened, oh, hey there. and he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him. Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped Jesus. Didn't you like that video? Hey, I'm telling you, man, Jesus transforms lives. He's still transforming lives today. He has been transforming my life for the last 31 years. You know what I mean? And that's the cool thing about Jesus and Cocoa Pebbles, right? Because here's the thing. When you put the Cocoa Pebbles in the milk or the milk in the Cocoa Pebbles, the transformation begins, you know, all of a sudden, but then all of a sudden, uh, well, all of a sudden, but then gradually you got more transformation. Just like me. See, 31 years ago, when I said Jesus coming to my heart, man, bam, like the, the, the Bible said, all things become old, all things become new. I was a new creature in Christ Jesus, right? But listen, I wasn't, I didn't change like, everything all at once, it started becoming gradual like that chocolate milk, like the milk in your cereal, you know what I'm saying? It starts transforming. So here's the thing. When you say Jesus coming into your heart, right, all of a sudden, boom, you transform, right? You become a new creature, creature, cre creation, depends on if you're from Karen Crow or Lafayette. <laughs> Karen Crow! Anyway, so check this out. Whenever you live for Jesus, you become transformed, and it's a process. So as you live for Jesus, as you read the Bible, as you come to KJM, you become more and more like him. You become more and more into the image of Christ and the person that he wants you to be, right? So, man, I encourage you, don't give up. Don't stop living for Jesus. Don't stop reading your Bible. God's working on you. He's working on you. We used to sing an old song, he's still working on me. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I know. Yeah, I, I can't sing. You know, we, we're going to leave that up to Mr. Maureen and Ms. Megan and all those other people, you know. Anyway, hey, I want to pray for you. I do want to pray for you because I believe that there are you, some of you for sure, that are watching me, that you have never invited Jesus into your heart to transform your life. Man, I remember that. Man, back 31 years ago, I said, I want to be, I want to be a new person. I want to be better, right? And it all starts with asking Jesus into your life, looking to him just like that blind man, right? Jesus transformed. He can transform your life right now. So would you pray with me? Let's say this out loud, okay? Say this out loud, loud enough with your voice that you can hear with your own ears. But let it come right from your heart, okay? Let's pray together, boys and girls. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus to say thank you for loving me so much that you gave your son Jesus to die on the cross, to pay the price for my sins and the sins of the world. And right now, I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I invite you, come into my heart, come into my life, and be my Lord and be my Savior. Starting right now, begin a transformation in my life. Like your word says, all things are, are old, all things become new. Starting right now, I'm a new person, and I know every day, as I live for you, you will begin that transformation in my life. 
and I will become more and more like you and more and more the person that you want me to be as I put my trust and my hope in you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Man, congratulations, man. I hope you guys had a great time today with our service. Listen, if you prayed that prayer for the very first time, you've never invited Jesus into your heart, please do me a big favor. Have mom and dad, whoever's with you around on your cell phone, text that number at the bottom of the screen. Text that number. Let us know that you got saved. You gave your heart to Jesus, right? And we're going to get some information to you in the mail, help you along with that, that new life that, that you have, right, in Christ Jesus, man. Hey, listen. I love you guys. I hope to see you real soon, man. Hopefully all this thing is going to be blown over real quick and we'll be back in action having fun in K-Jam, you know, right like live. You know what I'm saying? Live and yeah. You, okay, I'm going. I'm stopping. You know? <laughs> Bye, y'all.